Thank you for joining us this morning for this Command and General Staff College International Hall of Fame induction ceremony. This is an indoor ceremony. Saluting is not required. Please turn off any electronic device that may interfere with the ceremony. Please rise for the entrance of the official party and remain standing for the national anthem of the United States of America and the invocation offered this morning by Chaplain Meilenberg. Please bow your heads and pray with me. Dear Lord, as we gather today to celebrate this induction into the Command and General Staff College International Hall of Fame, we ask for a blessing on General Noon Pakti and his family. Thank you for the strength, endurance, and steadfastness you've instilled in him as he has progressed in his career to his current position of immense responsibility. Please grant him peace and protection as he continues to lead. We ask for continued motivation for the soldiers of our army and our allied teammates' armies, as well as protection and safety for our brothers and sisters in harm's way around the world. In your name, amen. Please be seated. Welcome to the United States Army Command and General Staff College International Hall of Fame induction ceremony. In 1973, the United States Army Command and General Staff College the Kansas City Chapter of the Military Order of the World Wars and the Alumni Association, now known as the CGSC Foundation, jointly established the International Hall of Fame. The Hall's purpose is to provide a prestigious and visible means of recognition for international graduates who through military merit attained qualifying positions of importance in the respective country's armed forces or who have held an equivalent position by rank or responsibility in a recognized multinational military organization. To date, we have inducted 298 international graduates from 82 different nations into the U.S. Army Command and General Staff College International Hall of Fame. It's my pleasure to introduce the official party for today's ceremony. Lieutenant General Milfred H. Beagle, Jr., Commandant of the Command and General Staff College. To the right of the Commandant is the Command Sergeant Major, Command Sergeant Major Stephen H. Helton, Command Sergeant Major of the Command and General Staff College. To his right is Major General Retired Christopher P. Hughes, Chairman of the U.S. Army Command and General Staff College Foundation's Board of Trustees. And our ductee this morning is General Songwit Nunpakdi, Chief of Defense Forces, Royal Thai Armed Forces, CGSOC Class of 2000. We welcome our special guests attending today, Mrs. Pam Beagle, spouse of the Commandant, Lieutenant General James B. Gerard, 
Deputy Commanding General, U.S. Army Pacific, the Honorable Pat Proctor, State Representative for Kansas's 40th District, Major General Brad Dougherty, Adjutant General for the State of Washington, Brigadier General David C. Foley, Provost, Army University, Brigadier General Catherine Trombley, Deputy Commanding General, U.S. Army Reserve, Combined Arms Center. Community leaders, sponsors, commanders, command sergeants, majors, retirees, international liaison officers, families, and friends, thank you for being with us today. Ladies and gentlemen, the Commandant of the Command and General Staff College, Lieutenant General Milford H. Beagle, Jr., Okay, good morning, everybody. Okay, we can do a little bit better than that. The sun is not shining outside, it's a fact, but the sun is shining in here because it's an awesome day. So good morning. A lot better. I won't re redo protocol. Protocol has already been established, but I'd be remiss if I did not thank all of our leaders who are here, our students who are here, especially our international students, our CGSC Foundation members and trustees, and our community partners and teammates. Thank you for giving of your time today. Something we can never give you back, something we cannot pay you for. But the fact that you're here giving your time truly means a lot. To my great friend, Jamie Gerard, for making the trip from Hawaii, thank you for being here because I know you've got a great teammate up on the stage with us, with us today who will be inducted. It is a pleasure and an honor to do this ceremony today for an exceptional graduate of the U.S. Army Command General Staff College who achieved International Hall of Fame eligibility. So I'll pause there for a second and tell a very short story. So General Sungwit and I are actually classmates, not of CGSC. We're classmates of about a year and a half ago uh, at the CJ Flick course. And I told him backstage not to tell all of you I got in trouble for talking in class too much. He got the honor roll distinction, uh, which is why he's here and I'm here. Um, <laughs> but through his distinguished service, he has reached the highest positions of uniform leadership within his country's land forces. We take immense pride that he has enriched our institution by being part of the 8,500 plus international military graduates from the United States Army Command and General Staff College. Our IHOF inductee represents the absolute pinnacle of personal and professional achievement as a senior military leader. It is timely and valuable that our students here today will bear personal witness to this special recognition of a distinguished graduate. Today, we will induct General Sungwit Nung Pak Di, Chief of Defense Forces, Royal Thai Armed Forces. With his induction, General Nung Pak Di becomes the 299th inductee overall and the ninth inductee from Thailand. A graduate from CGSOC class of 2000, General Nun Pak Di, began serving his nation in 1988. He achieved the pinnacle of his military career with his appointment as the 35th Chief of Defense Forces, Royal Thai Armed Forces, in October of 2023. In the intervening years, he took a path of a warrior scholar, most notably when he obtained a Master of Science in Engineering. And he graduated from our very own Airborne, Pathfinder, and Ranger School. His leadership of the Defense Forces of Thailand is exceptionally important to the long-standing cooperation between our two countries and vital to the stability of the region. This is an incredibly significant day. I cannot understate that point. General Nun Pak Di's induction today represents the fulfillment of the potential that resides within each student in this military education institution it is a direct return on investment made jointly by our respective militaries and the professional military education of our officers. Today we celebrate Alliance capability, credibility, and commitment. Something as necessary now as at any time in our history. I want to thank all of you again for your time. Sir, thank you again for your presence and being with us today. You make today very special. I know today is special for you, but you're what today is all about. You represent and reflect excellence, not only for the Royal Thai Armed Forces, 
but for all officers in this auditorium today. Thank you so much for being here. With that, please publish the order. Please keep your seats as the induction order is read. Attention to orders. The United States Army Command and General Staff College. Be it known that General Sungwik Nunpak Di, Chief of Defense Forces, Royal Thai Armed Forces, in recognition of outstanding military achievement in service to his country's armed forces, has been inducted into the United States Army Command and General Staff College International Hall of Fame. In testimony whereof and by authority vested in us, we do confer upon him this honor, given at Fort Leavenworth, Kansas, this second day of April, 2024. Lieutenant General Beagle and General Sunwick now unveil the portrait of General Sunwick we will place in the International Hall of Fame. Now General Beagle presents a certificate on behalf of the Military Order of the World Wars signifying General Nunpak Dee's status as an inductee into the International Hall of Fame. Major General Hughes is now going to present a gift designating General Sungwit as an honorary life constituent of the United States Army Command and General Staff College Foundation. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Lieutenant General Beagle's guest and our guest, General Sungwit. Good morning, everyone. In Thailand, we say Sawat Di Krap. General Beagle, my friend, very nice to see you again after the week that we stand at CJ Flick. Uh, General Hughes, uh, Sergeant Major Hilton, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. First and foremost, I would like to thank General Beagle and the committee for the opportunity to be inducted into IHOF, making this an honorable moment of my 35th years of services. Being here today at Leavenworth gives me the warm hearted feeling, even though I just flew in from Waikiki, Hawaii. <laughs> the moment I re-enter Leavenworth bring back the fond memories of the time I spent here sitting somewhere, not in this auditorium, it used to be Bell Hall. On my first day that very year that I came here, I heard everyone saying that it was going to be the best year of your life. At first, I didn't fully believe it, but as time went by, reading amounts piled up, class discussion got more profound and more intense, and exam got more tougher. But the party got longer and more frequent. <laughs> then I really agree that the year at Lambert was the best. It was the best year because I broadened my knowledge and vision of this world. It was the best because it prepared me for future challenges, and it was the best because it created a bond of friendship from many nations. The model of our beloved Army CJC crest read at Bellum Pache Parade, which means prepare at peace for war. It reflects perfectly how CJC has been preparing leaders at peace for unprecedented situation. As a soldiers, we all strive to ensure 
that our fellow global citizens are guaranteed the peace they are rightfully entitled to. As General MacArthur once said, the soldiers above all others pray for peace, for it is the soldiers who must suffer and bear the deepest wound and scars of war. However, the conflict in Europe and in Middle East are proof that conflict are inevitable. So it is vital to be prepared in which Levenberg has been preparing military leaders since 1881. I am grateful, CGSC, for giving me the lifelong applicable knowledge during my years here. I chose to take an elective course in Department of Joint Interagency and Multinational Operation, which I have always been interested in the Middle East, China, East Asia, and South Asia affairs. The knowledge insight gain is beneficial for me at every step of my career, especially as Chief of Defense Forces, Royal Thai Armed Forces today. Most recently, our success in the NEO operation for Thai national in Israel was because of the knowledge and networking form during the CGSC experience. And now I want to elaborate a little bit that that operation was uh, evacuating 7,400 Thai national and rescuing 23 hostage. Eight remain as a hostage in the Gaza Strip. So it was the biggest, largest NEO operation in the Thai history. And it was made possible through the allies and partners because Thailand, as a small nation, doesn't have a global reach into that region. For you all as a current student here, please pay attention to your studies. What you have learned here will prepare you for the future experiences. You are a walking in the footsteps of great captains, i.e. Sherman, Eisenhower, Patton. And the standards for you are above and beyond your peers. Be kind, make friends, be that friend indeed to one another. Friends give you the resilience to be back on your feet, ready to fight another day in this volatile and uncertain world. Enjoy your opportunity you have. Like Dr. Seuss said, sometime you will never know the value of the moment until it becomes a memory. Before I end my note, I would also like to give special thanks to the people I hold dear in my heart who is here today. First, my civilian sponsor, Mr. and Mrs. Pfeiffer. Second, Colonel Retire and Mrs. Boutique. Third, Mr. and Mrs. Heflin. Fourth, Major General Brett Doherty from the Washington State Adjutant. Fifth is my dear friend and a comrade in, in um, Lieutenant General Gerard DCG of USAPAC. Thank you for coming all the way from Hawaii. Six is my military sponsor. Colonel Bachelor, where is he? Huh? Dave Bachelor, okay. I think he went somewhere, but he's my, he's the one that he, he told me this morning. He's the one who made me a four-star general. So, <laughs> it's one of those tac tactician, uh, uh, I think, uh, lecturer now. Seven and eight is Colonel Kurt Leffler, the defense attaché, and the army attaché to Thailand, my band of brothers. And lastly, my wife, Panyada. My dear wife has been supportive and has brought out the best in me, especially during my time at CGSC, making it a picture-perfect memory. She is the sunshine of my life. She is often a homing beacon when I'm away. And lastly, she is the wing beneath my she is the wind beneath my wings. Thank you very much for your attention.
Please rise as we play the national anthem of the Kingdom of Thailand and please remain standing for the departure of the official party. Thank you for joining us this morning. This concludes our ceremony. Invited guests and international military students are invited to pass through the Commander-in-Chief hallway and greet our inductee in a receiving line. Thank you. <laughs> 